Hey guys, this is Will from Gel Paints, and I just want to make a really quick video to go through some of the questions, the answers that I guess a lot of people through our social medias and or other platforms have come together and actually asked us. Um, hopefully this will answer some questions and will make it a lot more clear as to how we do what we do and how we get to the amazing result that everyone seems to love and um, keep coming back to us for. So. Okay, so let's just jump straight in. So first question we get quite a lot here at Gel Paints is can we do custom films? Um, we 100% understand where this question comes from, obviously because people want to put like, you know, their own touch to um, uh, like to their gel blasters and that's all fine and dandy. The problem that we have, and this is with the gel dipping, uh, I guess, um, industry as a whole, is that to get a custom film, it's a completely different process to the uh, pre-designed films that we currently work with. So there's basic two ways of getting film. One is an ink injection uh, printed film, and the other one is an actual roll printed film. The roll printed film is what you see in all of your mass production work. Um, it's where all of our biggest designs come from, um, and it retains, it's just a much better quality film. The ink injection film, the technology is not quite there yet with the current media or the current PVA film where it will always be to the stage where it will retain its color. So, because custom film or ink injection film is very varied um, and causes a lot of headaches most hydro dipping companies will actually stay completely clear of it for that very reason and that's another reason why we um, stay with the preset designs that we have in our catalog so what we can do though to customize is we can play with things like your base colors and we can overlay different images uh, over each other within the dipping process so as far as customizations goes, we can customize to that extent, but as far as completely new designs, new images, um, you know, completely custom work, uh, it is just not within the hydro dipping space um, where it's a valid technology with the uh, processes and procedures that we have available to us at current to, uh, to make that um, a, like a viable option for our clients. So custom film, bad, variable, doesn't get results. Uh, general film in our catalog, much better results, colors pop, and we get what um, is pretty much what, they, what, what our clients come back for every single time. So that's I hope that gives a bit of context behind custom versus uh, general production film. Second question we get at gel paints quite often is: Is the material that we use is the PVA film a wrap? Um, it is true to the extent that it does wrap around the object, but not in the conventional sense where it's a layer that we put on the top. Just like most paints, uh, it will actually, if applied correctly, bond to the substrate layer that is underneath it. So you actually get a more factory finish, a more natural looking finish when you hydro dip something because everywhere the water goes, the paint goes. So uh, just like the water is fluid, the paint becomes fluid and you can get into much tighter spaces uh, as you can see on these gel blasters and the material we normally work with, then you would be able to get it with a wrap. Um, I hope that answers the question. Alright, question number three. Um, how long does the whole process normally take? So, look, it really just depends on if we have the film in stock, um, like how long the time frame the client's given us, give or take. Uh, generally what it comes down to is we have to order the film in. So we'll present the full catalog to the client, the client will come back to us and he will actually, he or she uh, will give us you know, the, um, like the paint code or the design code that they would like to do. We then have to order the film in. Ordering film in normally takes about a week and a half to get in. Once the film is here, uh, we'll contact the client, get them to bring their product or their job last or whatever it is that we're doing for them into the shop. Um, and we go from there. Now with gel blasters in general, um, it takes us about four days. Four days to receive uh, the item in, um, to prep it up, to tape it up, to do whatever we need to do, and then to clear coat it. Clear coating normally takes about a day just there, just to cure properly, uh, to the point where you can actually handle it. Um, and then from there, once it's done, we'll contact the client, come pick up their pieces, and it's done. So, long-winded answer, but dot points is, 
week and a half to get film in and four days to do the uh, prep work, dipping work, clearing work, and then you should have your product back. Alrighty guys, question number four. We're getting to the end of our list now. So, another question we quite often get here at Gel Paints is what is involved within the, uh, with, like, with what we do once we receive your gel blasters. Basic overview is around four to five different things. First thing, when we get your gel blaster, we have to clean it. We all know that there is oils and all sorts of greases that the internal components and gears need to function properly within the gel blasters themselves. And a lot of the times, the products we get from you guys aren't the cleanest because they've been used and even if they come clean from the store, uh, they still have factory grease inside them. So our job is to clean them first. They then go to tape work, so we'll tape off all the components you want dipped um, and then obviously leave the parts that need to be dipped exposed so you get a much cleaner finish. It'll then go into a, uh, um, into a prep stage, so we'll then uh, prepare the surface. So if it's a plastic, we'll get, you will use plastic primer on it and if it is a metal, we'll actually sandblast it down to create a bonding surface. Uh, from there, we'll apply the different base coats. After the base has been applied, we go straight into dipping, and then from dipping, we go to clearing. So I hope that that uh, clears up some um, some questions around what we do once your blaster um, or car parts or whatever the case may be uh, comes into our shop and, uh, and and how we handle each different item. Alrighty, guys. Fifth and final question that we get here at Gel Paints, and that is regarding with what we can and cannot dip. Um, very simple answer. Uh, most plastics and metals, no issue at all. Uh, we can dip them, the paint bonds really well. We have the actual uh, chemicals to make the process go seamless. The issue that we run in with is when you guys start using prop items. Prop items normally have a rubber outer surface, and paint in general. Um, does not bond very well to rubber outer surfaces, um, especially when you use them how they're meant to be used. Like these uh, objects, especially like for you guys who go out to field, you know that they uh, are made to withstand quite a lot of impact. And because the outer surface uh, has a lot of uh, flex in it, when you apply paint to a flexing surface, you're going to have cracks, you're going to have peels, it's not going to be a good time for anyone. So that's why we stay away from rubber outer surfaces. Uh, and we concentrate more on your harder surfaces. So again, metals, um, most plastics, no issue at all. Thank you very much for your time, guys. This has been fun. Um, I actually, this is my first Q&A, so I hope that, uh, <laughs> that it's answered a lot of your questions. I hope that, uh, that like what we do is a lot more clearer to you guys. And look, this has been fun. I'm, I'm definitely keen to do this again. So um, hit us up if there's any more questions that you guys have. Uh, we'll select a few, maybe do another one of these. Uh, and we'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, until then, more than happy guys, hit us up on Facebook or on Instagram with any and, um, and all questions. Um, website is up and running now, so www.gelpaints.com.au. Um, it's still very basic, but the basic bare bones is there. So hit us up with any questions you have, we'll answer them as best we can. And um, again guys, thank you very much for your time, uh, and we'll talk soon.